Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a complete guide on how to play Murad. In this video, I'll be covering all the basic abilities of Murad as well as some of the advanced combos that you can do on him. And also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to check out my other videos as well. We have a lot of tutorials, guides, top 5s and top 10s in the channel. And if you find these videos entertaining and helpful, make sure to support me by hitting the subscribe button. Now with no further ado, let's get right into the video. When Murad uses his auto attacks on a creep, on a minion or on an enemy hero, he gains stacks and on the 4th stack, he gains additional 45 attack damage and as you can see here, Murad deals 198 damage to the Sage Golem and when he unlocks the 4th seal, he deals 220 damage. This is a fairly simple passive when compared to most of the other heroes in the game. Murad dashes forward, dealing damage to all the enemies in his path and also stuns them. He can use the dash again within 5 seconds of casting the initial dash and in the next 5 seconds he can use it again to come back to the original position. As you can see here, the first two dashes deal damage and also stun the enemies and the third dash brings Murad back to his original position. Murad creates a circle and enemies who are inside the circle take damage and the enemies who are hit by the corner of the circle take even more damage. And if the enemies try to leave the circle, they will be slowed down by 50% for the next 2 seconds. As long as the enemies stay inside the circle, their armor will be reduced. Another cool thing about his second ability is that when you cast it, Murad is untargetable. So you can use it to dodge tower attacks and abilities from heroes. When Murad unlocks his passive, that is the fourth seal, his ult becomes available for the next 5 seconds. When you use his ult, Murad deals damage to all the enemies in the area 5 times while he is untargetable and is immune to everything. The downside to his ult is that the more enemies you hit with your ult, the lesser damage it deals. So, if you use your ult on 5 enemies at once, only 30% of the damage from the ult will be dealt to all of them. Also, any lifesteal effects that you have will be reduced by 50% for his ult. During his launch and for a very long time since, Murad used to deal full damage and have full lifesteal for his ult and after that they have nerfed him and now he is not really a very good assassin but he is always been one of the most interesting ones. So this is the most basic combo of Murad that most of you already probably know and that is getting 4 stacks from the jungle and then use your S2 2 times to go to the enemies and then use your S2 and your ult and then come back to the jungle. So any time a fight is about to break out, you have to decide which creep you are going to take your stacks and how effective you can be in the team fight without even entering it. This is the build that I'll be using for Murad, it's basically full AD and the Arcana will be Onslaught, Assassinate and Skeever and the enchantment will be Curse of Death because it is a very good combo with his uh, first and second ability. Now let me give you guys some advanced tips on how to play Murad. Like I said before, Murad has been nerfed very much and his ult literally deals no damage at all. So, in order to compensate for it, you have to use your other abilities and your auto attacks. When you play Murad, this is something you should really keep in your mind. When Murad was launched, he used to deal a lot of damage with his ult. But now, they have nerfed him so much and his ult doesn't deal a lot of damage. So, you have to completely change the playstyle in order to be effective with Murad. Now let me tell you guys how to compensate for the lack of damage from his ult. So, as you have seen before, my build has Omni Arms right. What Omni Arms does is, after using an ability, the next normal attack gets enhanced to deal more damage. So what you can do is, use your S1 with Murad and it will stun the enemy right. Then use a normal attack and it will trigger the passive of Omni Arms and it will deal more damage to them. And then, when the enemy comes out of the stun, use your another dash and stun them again and then another auto attack. This will like permanently stun them for like 2 seconds and then use your second ability and do another normal attack and then one more normal attack and then ult. 
and most of the enemies like squishies marksman and mage will die just from your normal attacks i'll repeat once again if it was not clear so what you have to do is use your s1 then auto attack s1 again then another auto attack s2 two auto attacks and then use your ult this is the best combo for murad and you can literally two shot marksman in the late game because he has a lot of damage for his normal attacks now let me give you a quick demonstration of what i'm explaining watch this clip carefully in slow motion Here, since I'm at level 4 and the opponents are at level 2, they are only going to try and run. But what I'm going to showcase to you with this clip is that, without even using my ult, just with my normal attacks and my first and second abilities, I brought down both of their HP down to 25% and my ult was only just a finisher in this case. So this is how you should play Murad in order to be effective with him. Try to dash on to the enemy marksman and then just two auto attacks and he will be dead. But if you take the stacks from the jungle like the old Murad and then go and ult in the middle, it doesn't even deal a lot of damage because they will be grouped. It deals damage only to enemies who are standing solo. And one more thing you should remember is that before using your ult, always use your S2 in order to reduce the armor of the enemies who are standing inside so that your ult deals more damage. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you all found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button to show your support. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next video.